popping homies it's your favorite homegirl gossip girl and i'm just coming in with some shocking news okay so to me when i read this story i was like this has got to be a dream i cannot believe this happened but let's just get right on into it okay a woman found murdered on the same snowden property at horseshoe lake arkansas where her mother was killed nearly 24 years earlier Okay, an Arkansas woman who was murdered Wednesday at the historic Snowden family home, allegedly by the same man who killed her mother and her mother's nephew on the same property nearly 24 years ago. Okay, Martha McKay, who was 63 years old, a member of the Snowden family, was found dead on Wednesday inside the colonial style house at Horseshoe Lake in Crittenden, Crittenden, County, Arkansas. Okay, so the sheriff Mike Allen told Dayline that the deputies responded to an alarm at the Snowden's house on Wednesday where Martha lived. When they arrived, the back door was open. As they searched for the intruder, they saw a man jump from an upstairs window. The intruder later identified as 39-year-old Travis Sante, <coughs> excuse me, Lewis ran to a nearby car and attempt to drive away. But authorities said the vehicle got struck in the yard. That's when Lewis ran from the car and ran into the lake. He was, obs he was observed going under the water and never came back up, Sheriff Allen said in his news release. The Arkansas Game and Fish and Crittenden County Search and Rescue were called. The game and fish used their, their sonar equipment and search and rescue was able to locate and recover the body of the suspect. The bodies of the victim and the suspect have been sent to the Med Arkansas Medical Examiner's Office for cause and manner of death. Okay, according to Sheriff Allen, Lewis was 16 when he pleaded guilty to the September 10th, 1996 Horseshoe Lake murders of Martha's mother, Sally Snowden McKay, and Sally's nephew, Joseph Lee Baker, who was a well-known Memphis Blues rock guitarist. It was believed Lewis shot Sally and Lee because they startled him as he attempted to rob the house. The building was then set on fire, Sheriff Allen had added. Lewis was sentenced to 28 and a half years in prison and ordered to serve at least 70% of it according to the plea bargain after spending 23 years behind bars lewis was paroled in 2018. martha mckay who moved to the horseshoe lake house from san francisco after her mother's murder had turned snowden's house into a high-end bed and breakfast and wedding venue i met her a few times and she was nice interesting lady she really restored that place back to its original beauty sheriff allen has said is such tragedy and well mind-boggling that a 16-year-old who commit these murders and then, you know, allegedly come back and do something so horrible again. So, he did this 16 years ago, right? Well, he was 16. So, 20-something years ago, he killed her mom and boyfriend okay the daughter comes lives in the home fixes it up makes it into a bed and breakfast and wedding venue and the same person comes back and kills her that is crazy to me that is crazy sheriff allen told dateline there were reports that martha had been in touch with travis lewis during his time in prison as well as after his after he was released i think it was her mission to find out what happened to her mother and to find out someone else was involved sheriff allen added that the case is still under investigation and anyone who knew or knows any new information is encouraged to come forward and call the county sheriff's office so if y'all know anything if y'all over there in that area um horseshoe lake place over there if y'all know something, um, y'all need to say something. If not, then, you know, you can't say anything. But that's crazy. I just found out to be crazy that her parents, her mom was, dead, you know, murdered in the same house. Okay? And they caught the guy. 
He went to jail for it. <coughs> got released on parole. Came back and killed her. But it's still under investigation. I don't know why she would want to be in touch with this guy. Because I, 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 if somebody murdered my parents, yes, I would like to know what happened. But I'm not going to get in touch with the person and ask them myself. Because now you're opening old wounds. And now you give them a cause to look for you. You know, he had no reason to take her parents life but still people like that you gotta like fall back and let the authorities handle it you should have had a private investigator say hey listen i want to find out what's going on you know see if you can um pick his brain and find out who killed my parents what happened hire somebody to do that work because you're not qualified to do it and you don't have the the tools to protect yourself so she should have hired somebody but it's unfortunate that she has now you know she's dead because of it and it's still on an investigation so if i'm going to track this i'm going to put a little star in my notebook next to this if anything else new develops i will let you guys know but i just felt this was like really interesting and i want to share with you for my midday news all right so you guys let me know how you feel about this story in the comment section and if you like my videos give it a thumbs up if you want to and if you like my channel and you feel like hey this is the channel for you to chill and relax hit the subscribe button only if you want to you don't have to no pressure so i will talk to you guys later bye